Some stage, almost everybody needs to reproduce a drawing from a book or from a newspaper or just another drawing. And there are lots of ways of doing it, carbon paper, tracing paper and so on, but here's a very simple way, and it's not a bad one either. First of all, you need to get yourself some glass or some perspex, and an off-cut piece of perspex is good because it's safe. It doesn't uh, break and shatter, but it's expensive and sometimes hard to get hold of. So probably the most likely thing you'll find is this, an old picture frame with the glass still in it. And that's a very good thing to get because it means it's pretty safe, you can't cut yourself on the edge, but make sure you tape the glass in so it can't fall out on the desk and break. Then you'll need a desk lamp and, of course, whatever drawing you want to reproduce. Now get this thing upright, beside your drawing, around about that position there. And if you use some large, heavy books, you'll be able to hold it perfectly safely and stop it moving around. And you want it held so that it's upright. And here's the way you test for that. Let's take this drawing underneath here and see how we get on with that. If I want to do a copy of that, I'd position that about here, and I'd look in the glass, and I should see a mirror image of it, a reflection of it, sitting on top of the desk over there. If the glass is pointing downwards, it'll appear to go underneath the desk. If the glass is pointing this way, it'll appear to be up in the air. So if the glass is absolutely perpendicular, where it ought to be, that will appear to be a ghostly piece of paper sitting on the desk on the other side. When it is, get a real piece of paper and put it on top of the ghost over here. Here we go. And match it up as closely as you can. You might even like to stick it down. Now, of course, you're in business because you've also got a ghost of your drawing. It's reflecting into there and bouncing off into your eyes so that you can look at the reflection on this side and also look through the glass and see what your hand is doing on the other. And if you shut one eye, it's easier, but you can put your pencil on the ghostly picture of the drawing there and just follow it round. And there we've got him. Of course, it's a mirror image, but you'll see it's not a bad likeness all the same.